Here they are for the sixth, the Woodrow Wilson final. Number one is Live the Life, owned by Arlene and Jules Siegel, with Mike Lachance. Mike Lachance will drive. 1A is Real Artist, owned by Arlene and Jules Siegel and John Campbell. Two is Musical Head, owned by Jeffrey Snyder and Luke Gwillette. Two A Bear Dance, owned by Jeffrey Snyder and Ron Pierce. Three Cam's Top Gun, owned by Show Me the Money Stable and Tom Houghton. Or Live, Love, Laugh, over the Valdor Farms and Jack Mosaf. Five House of Fun, owned by Larry Lefkowitz, Milton Kahn, and Nick Barberry and Richard Silverman. Six Trickster Hanover, owned by R.O.D. Enterprise and Marcus Modal. Seven Give Me What I Need, owned by North Woodland Stables, Paper Clipper Farms, and George Brennan. And eight Ombro Roadrunner, owned by Tom Gonsalves and Jim Morrow, Jr. It's the Woodrow Wilson Final. No Field for the Woodrow Wilson final, binding it and moving up. Here they come. And they're off. Bob's drive before the start. Give me what I need. There goes musical hit for the lead. Up on the outside, House of Fun. Round the first chain. Silverman gunning for the lead early with House of Fun. Musical hit second, then a length and a half. Cam's top gun, the outside live, love, laugh, then two to live the life fifth. Followed by real artist six, then a length and a half, Trickster Hanover. Another two and a half, Bear Dance. Three to Armbro Roadrunner. Quarter 27 and four. Down the back stretch they go, and it's live, love, laugh. Moisea puts them on the lead. Off stride is House of Fun. House of Fun on a break, and Silverman has to take him to the outside. Musical hit second. Here comes Campbell on the move now with Real Artist. And Real Artist wants the lead as they wheel by the half. And it's Trickster on over in fourth with Cam's top gun in fifth. Followed by Bear Dan, sixth and live the life seventh. Half 56 seconds. Wheel onto the far chain. Real Artist pressured by Trickster on over. Then it's another length and a half to live, love, laugh third. Cam's top gun fourth. Live the life is off stride. Bear dance three wide from fifth. Musical hit six, three quarters. One, 23 and four. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. And real artist. Sprints off by two, two and a half. From between horses, Trickster had him up on the outside. It's Bear dance, but in deep drag. Real artist and John Campbell now trying clear a powerhouse tonight. And it's real artist in 152 winning the Woodrow Wilson. John Campbell's fourth Wilson final victory. You can see the uh, happy uh, winner's circle. John Campbell again teaming up with his brother Jim to win another big race. This time the Woodrow Wilson. And returning to the winner's circle, it is Arlene and Jules Siegel's real artist. Two-year-old Bay Colt by Arts Place. Trained by Jim Campbell and driven to victory his fourth Woodrow Wilson victory for John Campbell. It's a lifetime mark, 152, and just a fifth of a second off the stakes and track record time of 151 and 4. As you can see in the winner's circle, there is Joe DeFrank, our director of racing, John and Jim Campbell. And congratulations to Arlene and Jules Siegel, winning the 1997 Woodrow Wilson. And the brothers do it again, Jim and John Campbell. More great stakes action tomorrow. And who can forget just a couple of years ago with Tagliabue and the Hamiltonian and 
More history will be made tomorrow with post time at 11.30 in the morning. It'll be a great day weather-wise. Hopefully you're going to join us tomorrow. Campbell, driver John Campbell. When we get tomorrow, Hamiltonian Day here at the Meadowlands. Gates open early at 9.30. We'll see more of this great stakes action with the Hamiltonian and a stakes-filled car tomorrow. First post, 11.30 in the morning. In addition to the Hamiltonian tomorrow, the Hamiltonian Oaks, U.S. Pacing Championship, Nat Ray, Oliver Wendell Holmes, all happening tomorrow in the Mistletoe Chalet. Part of our 16-race card tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we're in the winner's circle with the winning combination here, of course. Uh, we've got uh, Jim Campbell. Jim, uh, this Colt obviously showed some talent right off the bat. Uh, he looked a little, uh, well, tough to control there in a, a few starts just before this elimination, the elimination for this. He was just victim of circumstance. It wasn't that the horse had a problem with his manners. He just, horse in front was stopping him, and horses on the outside were going to their whips, and he just got a little excited, and, uh, you know, he was hearing the noise. He wanted to go, and that's what we were training him to do is to go. Uh, but there's there's no problem with his manners or anything like that. He was just a victim of circumstances. Okay, John, what's your take on the race tonight? Uh, cleared the lead, uh, looked pretty confident on top. Yeah, he, he, I was confident he raced well after he raced the way he did last week. Uh, a little tougher fractions. It's always tougher when the, the purses get higher. But uh, he got a little tired through the lane, but I, I called on him. He dug right in and, and finished strong. And uh, I was really proud of the way he raced because he was tired halfway down there but kept right on digging to the wire. Your quick impressions on tomorrow afternoon's Hamiltonian? Well, Malabar man's clearly the horse to beat, but I believe uh, the other two uh, elimination winners and take chances uh, also have, have good shots to win depending on how the race sets up. All right. Well, congratulations on this big victory. John and Jim Campbell and owners Arlene and Jewel Siegel. 9-4, 8-6. Pick three, three of three, $247.86.